crocheted umbrella. Gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. And this yarn. Oh, this is Mima. <laughs> this is Mima. And I pulled out the parasol. It was crocheted. And thought I would play with it a while this morning and share with you. The yarn is so pretty on this. It's a cotton yarn. And it's got silver threads running through it. I don't know that you can see in this video, but it's really quite enchanting. Let's see if I can get the true colors. It's a pineapple design put over a wood parasail frame. It's got little jewels right there. If you can see them, little purple. No, not purple. Um, blue. Little jewels right there. See? Little, and they've been their embroidery little chains. I mean, now, uh, yeah, just chains here with the little um, rhinestones attached to it. And you can tell from the pattern that they've just made a circle um, doily kind of design with the pineapple. And they've divided up into one, two, three, four, looks like five sections. I can do it like this. And they just attached it to the frame. Just like that. La 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 la. la da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm so pretty. I'm so pretty. Life is happy and I am happy too. And I think I don't know how to sing, but I make up my own words from all kinds of songs. <laughs> I know, that make me happy. Anyway, I thought I'd preview it again today because I just wanted to play. I just wanted to play, see how it's all in place. Could you imagine this used for a wedding? This what? Yeah, for a wedding. Oh, little bridesmaid comes out with their little umbrellas carrying their flowers huh wouldn't that be awesome we could dream we can make up our own stories that's why we watch tv somebody else is making up stories and putting them on tv we do make up our own anytime we want to we don't need no tv <laughs> well tv does make it nice because it helps us to imagine just like our books and you know I know you guys know how to make this. And people who have made doilies over the years, this would be a cinch. Even if you got those little, remember those little old uh, plastic umbrellas? I don't know if you get those anymore. For kids, you know, when they're little blushies. I mean, if you had one of those, you could just put lace over I, uh, You can buy these wood frames for the at I think Hobby Lobby, or uh, or they have they have had them in stock now. Whether they still do, I'm sure you can buy them online. You might be able to get them on Amazon. But you get a frame, and uh, in fact, if you're a photographer, you need one of these in your studio for when you're doing little kids or or wedding pictures or something to take some really awesome photographs using. Because, oh, did you see where I posted on Facebook um, about the flowers at the Olympics? Yes, they were crocheted flowers. Crochet's getting big. <laughs> That's when you see them on the Olympics. Can you believe that? Yes, yeah, true. And it talks about the organization that put it all together. I guess just people made them and donated them to Olympics. I really don't know all the details, but it was enough written up in the news report that I thought, 
that is too cool because you know we all are us crocheters been around for a while so it's sort of nice to see something recognized in that big of an arena but uh, I love crocheting and I think it's absolutely beautiful and I'm so glad as a renewal in the ark and I, and you are part of that you are remember you're your own kind of beautiful and <laughs> well I'll leave you for now it's just a quick little video about this little parasol but uh, I just think it's a beautiful I'd like to have a dress looks like this anyway remember God has you in his hands and pray for mother earth and stay warm if you have snow whoa <laughs> I'm so pretty I'm so pretty